Hello once again everyone and welcome back to another episode of Lawrence Plays Factorio Angel Bobs. In the last episode I decided it was about time I got red circuits up and running, so I just spent a lot of time running around trying to get things ready for that. So we built up a system to get the get some more resources onto the bus, things like plastic and sulphur, which are coming from a little bit further afield. And also we then extended the bus down around this mine here. And finally I started building up the um the first step of the red circuit production, so I was creating the uh, the silicon ingots that we needed for uh, and and the, to turn into the silicon, yeah, to turn into the silicon wafers for the uh, for the next stage of the of the um, of the production. That was as far as I got before I ran out of time. So now let's carry on and see where we go from here. Tinned wire is trivial. It's just make make wire out of copper and then apply tin to it. I'll probably do that in this gap here. Plastic comes in off the bus, and then I can just make them all into one thing down here. Excellent. <clears throat> so, um, let's see, that's tin, that offer. Uh, I could probably merge them somewhere inside this bus, actually. So if I split that out like that to give me some space to play, and likewise that one, and then do that and that, and then realize, oh yeah, no, there is room. If I do this and this, there we go. Tin and copper, and that's an electronic -y thing, so I can do that in one of these, the little ones. How long do these things take? So I want to make copper wire, which takes a quarter of a second, and I want to make, and I want to tin it, which takes even less time. No, yes, it uses a lot of wire. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to use a stack inserter for this, because I think that's going to be large quantities of everything. In fact, I'm going to use a stack inserter for this as well, but probably a normal one for this. And I guess, yeah, let's use a stack insert for the output, like that. I'm making everything long-handed, long-handled. Oh, let's just use stack inserts. <laughs> and tinned wire, yeah, so that needs to come over here. The other thing it's used for, I think, is normal circuit boards? No, I'm sure there's some... I could have sworn there was somewhere else I was using tinned wire. Ah, it's for the basic electronics components that use carbon and tinned wire. Okay, thought there was something like that around here. So, let's see that. Now, let's bring this over, let's bring this over here. I'll go under here just in case, and then down like that. Doesn't leave me much room for expansion, should I need it, but oh well, we'll worry about that later. Got the idea of how, to, how on earth to do this down a bit better. So you need that and that, and you're making that. We also need plastic over here somewhere. In fact, if I bring that through here, if I can, and don't see why I can't, then it can loop through, you can go through this gap and then turn down here, I suppose. Mm. <laughs> it's a bit dirty, but it'll do. No, it won't. Let's just come down across here. Okay, trans can I make transistors in these ones? Yes. Good. Um, mm -hmm. Let's put these onto the same belt, and then I can... Because I have this suspicion that I'm going to want a lot more... Oh, that's interesting. Long hand to pick up and drop a separate, separate options. That I'm going to want separate... Um, what am I talking about? I have this suspicion that I'm going to want to have several of these transistor making machines and therefore I'm going to leave the ability to do so by having the two belts next to each other rather than trying to direct load. Okay, that was right. That, <laughs> good thing about these small assembly machines is I can uh, power things from the other side of them. There we go. Transistors. That's one of the three components I need for the Sorry, one of the four components I need for the uh, for the red circuits. The second one, though, is this one. So it's not quite as bad as it looks. The second one was much easier. The third one is also fairly easy. That's some smelting. So I need to turn lead ingots and tin ingots into solder, molten solder rather, and then into cold solder. That's not too bad. Now I've got, yeah, these are my tin ingots. Lead ingots are in here somewhere, I'm sure. Oh yeah, they're over there. Okay, we'll do that in this space. Presumably that's done in a smelting machine or something. Let's find out. Induction induction furnace to produce the molten solder, and then casting machine to turn it into solder. That and that. I shall leave a gap because then if I decide I want to put in, I want to change the ratio so it's not just one to one, I've got room to do so. One fast inserter enough? I just don't know. Let's find out. I think for now I'm going to combine these two onto a single belt because there's four components. So having them on, oh, having them on 
two belts seems seems like a good uh, a good way of doing it. Oh, wow! Oh, I've um, not exhausted, but I'm over stretching my um, tin supply. That's interesting. N not very surprising given how little there is coming through here. I think I'm probably better at producing tin ingots than I am at producing normal tin. How do I turn these into plates? <laughs> that might be worth checking. I'll have a look at that in a minute. Probably, probably the pair of these things. Right, that's three parts done. Unfortunately, the fourth part is also rather complicated. Um, I need to make a circuit board, which is made up of a phenolic board, I think. I can't even read my handwriting, my own handwriting here. And I need to get iron ore from somewhere. Oh yeah, I was sort of trying, not trying to ignore that one, but I had forgotten about it because that's that's difficult. I don't really even. Iron ore isn't really something I have as such anyway, um, because it's produced in a couple of places just to sort of, yeah, like here, we've got some iron ore coming through here, but it's just getting turned straight into iron, because why not? I guess I better come up and grab that and start using that on the, putting, putting that on the bus instead of letting it get turned into iron. Or maybe I'll let it get turned into iron as well, I, it doesn't really matter, I've not got anything to fuel this with. I'm not used to ores being a thing you put on the bus, and now I've got silicon ore here, which is basically run out, <laughs> um, and I'm about to put iron ore on as well. So, um, one moment please. <laughs> I need to steal that. What if I that? Give me a bit of space to play with. Another one, another one there. Priority to the right goes down there, else up here and <laughs> join in with that coal. Like that. Okay. I have to admit, this isn't quite how I expected this to go, but it'll work. I don't mean lead, I mean tin. Tin ingots, what can you do with them? Surely there's a way to... I can make molten... Yeah, all you can do with ingots is melt them, okay. But tin, casting machine, oops. Induction furnace casting machine, yeah. So, so up here, I can have another pair of these. At least I could if I had any stone bricks. Easy. <laughs> Sure, the easiest way is just to get them out of here. No, oh, well, okay. I need to unload some of this junk. Which way do I want to prioritise? Probably from the right, like that, I think. Because that means, yes, that'll help keep the silicon flowing. Yeah, whereas the one up here isn't relying on anything. Nothing's relying on it, rather. In fact, this is just a bit dated now. This whole Bobmonium region could be got rid of. I'll just run this down here like this, but with, to be honest, more inputs, more on the, uh, more of these machines, because that is very slow. Actually, no, it's more of these I need. That one's being held up by the other one. That's a casting machine. Let's take another two of them in. Uh, what have I picked up? I shouldn't. <laughs> oh, grief. Uh, <laughs> it's a tile. No, how do I make them near or far? I don't know. I'm just putting down new ones, that'll do. And this goes up. There we go. They seem to be quite well matched for each other. This produces 120 every four. This uses 40 every four. Oh, that's perfect match. Perfect balance then. As all things should be. Let's do that. I need... Ah, too much junk. Let's go get rid of some of this junk. I didn't even look for crossing the railway line. That's not a good idea. You can have a lot of these and a lot of these. And with these. There we go. That goes in there. Goes in nothing around here. Um no, not in there. That's useful. Why have I got why have I even got some zinc? I've lost Oh I remember, right, yes. I went to get the iron ore because I need that for something. Oh yes, I need that to make ferric chloride solution. Which I somehow make into a circuit board. This one. That's made in an assembly machine. Okay, I'm gonna work backwards for this one, because I've got most of the other things basically together here. So if I start with my assembly machine here, it's going to make these and then feed that out onto there. <laughs> yeah, great. Um, eventually. I could have put this out, so never mind, I might want more than that. Yeah, I, might, I may want to have multiples of these, like that. Okay, so that takes the ferric chloride solution and copper and tin plates like that. So this, this belt, in fact, this is going to be a lot of fun when I just realise I need to squeeze some more of some of this in. <laughs> and you can take that like that. We also need to get this ferric chloride solution in. Oh, and phenolic 
boards. <laughs> okay, can't put that there. Um, I'll put it there, I think. Yeah, that's going to do. Long handled inserters as well. Or the thing that comes from wood. That's all I know about it. Which is this one? Yeah, about here that'll do. That one. Phenolic board. Made an electronics machine from wood and resin. Resin is made in a assembly machine from wood. Try that again. The right length of inserters this time. You're making resin. You're making phenolic boards. Okay, I need a lot more of these for each one of these, apparently. That's quite a slow process. Okay, I'll come back and speed that up when I've got everything else running. So, phenolic board, copper plate, tin plate. So now it's down to that ferric chloride solution. Yeah, like this. Which comes from, which requires iron ore. So I'm just going to, oh, I don't know how much space I'm going to want for this and for this, for that matter. Bring the iron ore across the top and then down here. No, nah, that's probably silly. Come through here. Yeah, if I bounce under all of this stuff, then there's room to put more more things in if I need to. So I'll, yeah, I'll come along here. Putting them down the wrong way around seemed like a good idea at the time, but it did just make it a little bit more unreliable at the end. Right, bring this over here. Because that way, I can start with the water up here, which I need to turn into saline water, split into chlorine and hydrogen, then recombine into hydrogen chloride, and then dump into here. Very chloride solution. Made in a chemical factory, not surprisingly. Two of those, I'm probably going to need the other one for something. I'm going to run out of steel. Okay, this will take the iron ore in, and the hydrogen chloride, and spit out the appropriate stuff. I need magic liquids for this. Okay, place that pointing down, I suppose. Might have been look neater. Um, where's my iron ore? Oh, right. Also a chemical plant, and an electrolyzer. And there's a side byproduct of this as well. This, um, I'm not sure. Something, anyway. What? Sodium hydroxide. Okay. Yeah. And this requires... What was the input? Saline water. It comes from water. and also makes purified water in a hydro plant. That's a big one. Steel. Steel needed. I don't suppose there's any in here, is there? Um, yes. You know what? After all that, still not quite there. However, I am very nearly there. I think... The only thing that I'm now missing is the machines to actually make the red circuits themselves. Which step? Oh, help if I put water into this machine, wouldn't it? To help if I hadn't run out of pipes. So that's running. That's running. It just flows down the chain as a. Now the problem is, this makes um, 60 oxygen and 40 hydrogen chlorine. This takes 50 of each. So I'm going to have a surplus of um, one of them. Which one was it? Hydrogen. So I need another flare stack, um, and no, I need a tank and an overflow valve and a flare stack. So on these little inline tanks, an overflow, use the cheap one, because why not? That one, and that, and that one. The other problem is I'm producing sodium hydroxide or something that needs to be unloaded as well, or it'll, yeah, this stuff. What's this? Yeah, it is sodium hydroxide. So I'm going to end up with a full box of this at some point, and then I'll have to think about what to do with it. However, now you'll note down here, got a bit of everything. I'm guessing the circuit boards can now be built in, yes, in the little electronics assembly machines, these ones. So let's have a few of them. In fact, let's just do two for now. Get the bots along to multiply it up when I need more. There we go. And a power pole belt. Like that. Right, it's only taken an hour and 37 minutes. <laughs> Granted, actually, some of that was messing around with something else at the beginning, so it's not quite fair to say that it took all of that. All of that time was taken up by this, but wow. Okay, it's alive. It's, it's running. It's working. It's probably horrendously inefficient, and there's going to be bits of it that are backing up while other bits aren't getting used very much, but it is running, and it's building these red boards. I do wonder a little, should I be, um, let's see, I should probably copy that, I should bring this bus down, do I have, yeah, this, well, let me, no, what if I do this, what if I learn to drag a mouse in a straight line, that'd be nice, <laughs> well, there's a few lanes left on the bus, um, yeah, whew, let's have a look, see where they sort of, see where the bottlenecks seem to be, currently there aren't any, because there's only two of these machines running, well, what's the range on that? Oh cool, it's going to build all of that if it's got the stuff. 
because we've got the stuff. Let's give it those back. We're going to need them and some of them. I think my production of these red boards is going to be woefully inadequate. Oh, it's so good to have bots to do my building for me. Um, it's even better if they had all the stuff they needed. <laughs> there you go. Okay, I need them slightly close. Uh, right, I've put all these wrong. Yeah, never mind. Slightly more. There we go. I think I could get away with slightly fewer um, of these. Yeah, there's quite a lot of overlap there. If I took this one down... Yeah, I can't put it there. I can put it there. Yeah. Okay, I have to have some overlap. Unless I monkey around with these inserters a lot more. I'm not going to do that. Oh. Sometimes I feel it's not quite obvious enough which um, things are ghosts and which are and which have been placed. I didn't notice that those those uh, construction machines were missing. The other interesting thing to look at is have a glance up here and see if there's anything that's struggling. Now, to my admitted surprise, the um, this is kept up. I've dumped all of that extra space on at the bottom, and it's pulling the and it's still making the electronic circuits fast fast enough. That's good. This tin is not keeping up as we've seen but now that I'm pumping it in down from here as well it's okay it's actually it's backing back up again because <laughs> I'm using just from here silicon is fine I've got a 1k surplus of that good this still isn't fast enough it's not producing these boards quickly enough oh because it's running out of right okay it's this input here that's the problem now I knew that was going to be in there I was going to have issues with that do that and split that off down here don't actually need that one. Wow, it's a lot quicker. So I was half a second per one of these, and these are five seconds. So I need ten of these for it to keep up. Okay, it's not a problem. And it looks a bit odd sticking all the way out down here like that, but yeah, it works. I'm not going to knock it. However, I seem to have screwed it up. What, what happened here? I bet I did that by mistake. Two, three, four, five, six. I don't need to get this. Right, okay. That's now working. Well, it's now these that are the uh, limiting factor compared to these. These they're, they're just not pu pushing the uh, the red boards through quickly enough. But I think I think I'm happy with that for now. Yes, there are a few places where it's not quite efficient enough. Oh, it looks like I'm using these up a bit faster than they're being. Um, yeah, slightly faster than they're being produced. That is getting shorter. I think. Yes, there it goes. Okay, so I need a second one of these machines. No, I don't like that. Um, oh, that needs carbon as well. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Can carbon production keep up? That's the next question. Right, yeah, that is enough ele basic electronic components. Good. Yes, the carbon can keep up. That's the answer. It's uh, not having any difficulties there. I, yeah, I don't see any. I don't see any red lights. Of course, we're all we're backed up now, so it's 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 done. We're we're good. We've got enough. We've got a buffer available now. Okay. Right. So that brings up the next question. What were all the things I wanted to make from red circuits? <laughs> There's 110 things, like Mark II locomotives, that requires Invada. Chemical science packs, that was the thing. Oh, and that uses sodium hydroxide as well. I'm glad I'm not throwing, just throwing that away. Sulfur is not on the bus, but mm, could be. Uh, I, I, can, I can have another one of my um, unloading, train unloading uh, unloaders for the sulfur. I've already got a train loader for the sulfur, so that would be fairly trivial. Engines are easy to make, they're just iron basically. Electronic circuit boards I've got now. Three of them is quite a lot, but never mind. Sodium hydroxide is there. I could put that, I don't know, I need to, I'm going to need to belt that out. What else is sodium, is sodium, sodium hydroxide used for? Uh, bu 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 it's used for chemical science, batteries, so yeah. mm. Mm. it's used for a number of things. <laughs> I don't know how important these things are, but yeah. Apparently, there are uses for it. I can make paper from it and other stuff. And sodium sulfide. Good. Um, right, yeah, okay. I'm going to put it on the bus because I need it for the um, doohickey uh, science packs. Or is it? Here it is. How much have I made so far? 118. That's not very much. I suspect I'm going to need another source of it for the science. Oh, well. No. This is so spaghetti. Uh, right, so that's red circuit, so this one can be, yep, yeah, that can be the sodium hydroxide, that's fine. <laughs> Fail. Um, yeah, I sort of think I should block these off up here, so I don't accidentally put anything down them. And they're presumably not going to cause any problems anyway, no, that's blocked off there as well. So I think it, it is safe. Right, well that's <laughs> nearly two hours, crikey. Okay, I'm going to call it an episode there. I think 
that's a major uh, a major win on the um, on the uh, construction at this point. Um, I've made a big improvement to the factory now, so I'm producing the uh, the red circuits. That opens up so many more things I can do. Um, I think I can. It's, obviously, it's going to get me blue science. It's also going to get me lots of more powerful versions of everything, like trains and weapons and goodness knows what else. I think the next episode, my plan is going to be to um, start getting LTN set up. Because things like the sulphur and the plastic, they don't need dedicated trains that just sit in their stations all the time. There are a few things that do. Um, Sapphirite definitely does, because I get through enormous quantities of iron. At least sometimes I do. It seems to have calmed down a bit recently, and I'm not, I think maybe that's just because I've been concentrating on building stuff. Oh, um, that looked weird. I'm not sure why. Um, it's because I've been concentrating on building stuff down here, and I've been doing all that combat, and that hasn't. And so that's reduced the amount of resources I've been getting through. Uh, even though I've not been, yeah, even the even the ammunition hasn't been taking up as much, uh, pulling as much through. So, so yeah, my iron usage has calmed down a bit. In fact, it's calmed down a lot. You can see how little activity there is going on here. If I zoom in here, you can see there's almost no movement here at all. In fact, there is no movement here at all at the moment. So, yeah. But generally, I think needing... I, I expect to usually need a lot of iron, which is why I've got this set up like this. Um, I'm surprised Copper's doing so well, he says. Uh, wood is... Oh, wood is a problem. Okay. Well, that'll give me something to look at next time. Uh, how much... Oh, right. It's basically exhausted. Okay. Well, there's two options for the wood. Because I'm using the Bob's greenhouses, that's these things, they just churn out wood with almost no effort whatsoever. So I could just extend this across the other way and make it bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Just make another 20 of these little greenhouse things and pump a full belt of wood down there. Or I could take this as an opportunity to go, well, I've been, I keep saying that I don't really want to use Bob's greenhouses because everyone thinks they're cheat it, it's sort of cheating. It's, it's too, it makes it too easy. So maybe I should take this opportunity to produce wood some other way. Does that sound like a good idea? Um, I'm not sure. It's going to make things a little bit harder, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I've got space up here. I've got loads of space up here. I could build some sort of wood assembly system. I'll have a look into that, see how practical it is to make wood in a different way. Frankly, there's a lot of purple stuff there. Um, and see if... See, well, yeah, see, see, see what it looks like. I think it involves growing algae and having big sort of uh, algae plantations and stuff. So I'll get, yeah, I'll, I'll think about doing, getting that up and running. As I said, I want to get LTN going. Um, other than that, where's my list? I did have a to-do list, didn't I? How am I getting on with that? <laughs> Better trains are still on there. I've still not done that. LTN I've been talking about. I'm talking about iron boosting the iron production. I think I've done that because the I've got an absolutely crazy amount of iron production, so let's get rid of that. Coal unloading, that was another thing I was I was I had a concern that I've got all this I've got so much coal being used around the base, and yet I've just got this little one little grey belt up here. And it's it's absolutely fine, just feeding it through without any problems. I was also thinking it so yeah, I was considering building another unloader on the other side of this train to pull the coal out faster, but I don't think I need to. The coal is coming out ludicrously quickly. I've got 153,000 in here. This is this is full, so I've got a massive buffer here. Despite the amount I'm pulling through and using everywhere, coal unloading doesn't seem to be necessary at the moment. So I'll cross that off as well. Co copper for ammo, I could, I've done that. I've got ammunition production is well underway. Plastic, done that. Circuits 2, done that. And I've, I've got bronze volume on here, trying to get, just think about getting more bronze on the bus, um, getting it built a bit more quickly. But to be honest, that's keeping up fine. I'm not using that much bronze, so I'm just going to cross that off as well. So I'm now down to better trains and LTN. Oh, and blue, blue science. Yeah, I think um, blue science is going to be the next thing. Then I can start researching. I'll probably start, I'll start off by researching bigger guns, just because I seem to always want bigger guns. I notice there's not a huge amount of this tin coming out here. Maybe I should whack another um, blast tin blast furnace on. Um, tin production. I mean, it's not dangerously low. It is, it is keeping up, but only just. So I think it's probably yeah, it's worth boosting that one a bit. And wood, need to get wood. Where does that come from? Where does that come from? What's that it's supposed to be? Interesting. Lead ingots are backed up. I need to work out. Oh, the sulfur dioxide gas thing is filled up. I need to start making acid out of that or something. I think. Is that a problem? Am I using lead ingots? Yes, I am using. Am I? Yeah, it must be. I can't even follow this. Ah, it's down here. Right. 
yeah, lead, lead ingots need to look at, looking at as well. Okay, I'll add that to the list too. Generally, yeah, I'd say that's, that's a, um, a big step in the right direction, a massive improvement. We've got a whole new major component being manufactured now. And yeah, I'm, I'm satisfied with that. I think that's been a good episode. And it's been nice to get back to building after all that, after just having spent the last three or four episodes, I don't know how long it's been, messing around with combat and just freeing up some space and resources and stuff. So, yeah, I'll call it there. Thank you for watching. As usual, if you have any comments on what I've been doing or you think my building here is incredibly untidy, well, you, you're right. But let me know anyway, and uh, we'll see where we can go from there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.